What's up guys, Mitch from Mitch Ross Fitness here. Uh, today's going to be a different video, uh, just sitting down talking to the camera, uh, telling you about my prep um, and how I feel it's going. But yeah, prep. I'm doing a 12 week prep. Uh, would have preferred to do a 16 to 18 but I did have a holiday and I didn't want it to affect that. Um, also it clashed with body power. It did clash with body power and I wanted to enjoy the food at body power as well. So. It was very expensive. Very, very expensive. Sort it out. But, eight, uh, eight pound for a <laughs> six inch subway. Was it? Yeah. I didn't go subway, I went to a dodgy. <laughs> Neither did I, I went to, the prices. I went to a burger van in a corner. Yeah, I should have done that. Yeah, no, I took my own food with me because uh, I'm, I'm stingy like that. Like. I bought a chilli dog as well because I thought it was going to be a hot dog with all chilli in it. No, nah, it was a hot dog with like jalapenos launched on it. Oh, that's a bit shit, isn't it? It was, wasting my money, it was like seven quid. <laughs> Anyways, um, back to it. 12 week prep. Um, Two weeks in so far, it's going all right. I've got ten and a half weeks left. It's going good. Um, I've lost nine pounds so far. Not a considerable drop in muscle. I don't think at all, really. No, not it's really. Made, it's just been fat, really, ain't it? So it just, yeah, just puppy fat. Yeah, just puppy fat. Uh, trimming off. Uh, got a vascularity coming through. Uh, got a sneaky bit of abs coming through, which has never ever been seen on me ever. Um, so my, I'd say it's going good. I'd say it's going better than expected, honestly. Um, you know, I've got got my diet was written out for me from a boss, so following that down to the T, just everything that is on that, I'll have. I won't have anything else. Um, but the diet is is quite difficult. It's quite hard to kind of stick to and keep in your head that you know it's all for a reason. But as soon as you get it in your head that you know I have to eat this not just for enjoyment but I have to eat it for a purpose, when you when you get that kind of mentality uh, with your diet, that's when everything becomes easier. And uh, I've started learning about the past couple of days because the first week of prep, oh, my mood was just disgusting, horrible, 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 horrible. Anyone will tell you that as well. Uh, first I week. I don't think I spoke to you for a week. I think you didn't. I just avoided you a bit. Pretty much, yeah. Like if, if I went in the gym and he's working. Yeah, you'd kind of just like say hello and just. Okay, yeah, okay. it's like if you just, had. Just in case you tried to. Like, kick off yeah, I'll, 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 oh, mate. nothing. Literally, but um, it's kind of felt like when you have a good pre-workout and you get that killer drop afterwards. That's what it's been like. Uh, but a carb drop or a calorie drop, I don't know how how to explain it. But I've had no energy because uh, I'm doing obviously a bit of a deficit with my calories compared to what I was. Um, doing 30 minutes cardio a day on the bike, uh, intense training, diet down to T, so my energy is a bit just zapped. Uh, I've kind of got used to it a bit more now, but it was just completely gone. Um, I'm back up to normal now, and I my, mo yeah. my mood's fine now. It's all good. Uh, for now, for You're now, only two weeks in. Only two weeks in. It affected me first week, but I think it was just to get used to the diet, getting used to the calories before it changes again. Yeah. I'm going to enjoy the diet now before it changes again, um, so we'll see how my mood goes in. But yeah, I think I think the hardest part of it all is actually just the motivation. Uh, you got to rely on your support system quite a lot. Uh, obviously, I've got Cal behind the camera. Um, got my girlfriend. Got my boss. Got two lads in the gym who have competed slash are competing. Shout out to Ian and Jono. Um, to be fair, I think pretty much everyone in the gym Pretty much everyone in the gym, you know. Shout out to Hercules Gym. Uh, everyone's been really supportive. Uh, it's just kind of, for me, it's self-motivation that I need to keep in my head to keep the drive going. Because, I mean, I'm doing all this for a purpose. Whereas, if I was trying to diet beforehand, it would just be like, I'm, only, I'm just doing it to see what I can do, see what I can get. Whereas this now, it's for a purpose. Uh, and as soon as you have that purpose in your head, kind of sticking, sticking with what, the plan is make it ten times easier because you know you're doing it for a reason. For me, I want to step on stage looking the best I've ever looked, looking better than. And actually, it's not even about looking better than people next to me. It's about seeing what I can do, seeing what I can see, what I can bring to the stage. I mean, because someone could show up and be ten times better, but as long as I go on there knowing that I've done hundred percent, hundred and ten percent, then that's all that matters. But having my support system around me, everyone's being very, very kind of just. Brutally honest, straight to the point. I said, "Yeah, it's gonna be shit. It's gonna be hard, but it's worth it in the end. It's worth it in the long run." 
Um, that's what I'm keeping in my head. So suffering now, but you know, everything will be worth it. But yeah, it's kind of just you gotta keep yourself driven and motivated to be able to better yourself, not kind of make it all into a competition. Because that's what I that's what my mentality was. The first day of prep was right. I need to go because I'm gonna win a competition against people who are also doing the same. But when it gets like that, it, it becomes unenjoyable. It's like it's not like a hobby or it's not something you want to do. It feels like it's something you have to do. Like, I have to do this to win the competition. Whereas now I want to do it because I want to bring the best package I can. But um, that's enough for me blabbing on. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's everything. So nine pounds down, two weeks into my prep, ten and a half weeks to go. Mood's been shit, it's all right now. Um, physique, honestly, is looking a lot better, which you can see from my arm day video compared to my chest day. You be, the links will be in the description, you can see the comparison in my physique spare. Um, what's the gap between that? Because you re we recorded chest day before you went on holiday. So, so it was you about went on holiday for a week. So about three three weeks. Uh, three weeks, yeah, three weeks difference. Uh, and it would have been two weeks into my prep basically when yeah. my arm day was done. So yeah, I think that's everything that we've covered. We're gonna probably do this video every two weeks. Um, just a random just chat to the camera. And we'll put update. Some pictures up of yeah, we'll put some yeah. And then, yeah. We'll put some pictures up now of just like random times like the past couple of months when I've when I've been fat, be here. And then recently when I've been lean, be on this side. Uh so yeah, got to, got to keep going, got a support system that I need, got the drive to keep going. So yeah, that's gonna be all for today. Please like, subscribe, check out my other videos if you haven't already. My Instagram will be in the description box below as well. I'll put I'll put yours in as well. I'll go, go follow Cal as well. Um, I think that's everything. So yeah, please like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one, and peace. Yeah.